Going to the footy. I'm going to watch my team on the West Coast. I'm going to watch my team, the Eagles, get absolutely annihilated by the home team, Adelaide. It's going to be... It's going to be bad. I don't really know why I'm going to watch my team get slaughtered. But anyway, talk soon. Adelaide's come alive. Who knew? Stop. Lots of injuries and been playing well the last two or three years since COVID hit. So West Coast for those international people, West Coast won the Premiership, which is the the Super Bowl of the competition, uh, 2018. So that was that was pretty special. Basically, it came out of nowhere. No one was expecting it, which is all the more sweeter. Um, we made the finals in 2019 and then 2020. 21, 22, it's just been, just been terrible. Uh, lockdowns didn't help, but then for some reason, I don't know if it's um, our list management, we just haven't traded out old players for new young players. Lots of injuries, but quite a few of our old school players, our experienced players are out, and West Coast has the most decimated injury list in the competition, so we're constantly getting by, beat by 50, 60, 70, 100 points. I expect today to be no different. Weekly ritual, the pilgrimage to the footy ground. This is what happens. Supporters walk into the game, content. Hey buddy, how you going? Probably in Adelaide, it's like the Adelaide members are right behind me. <laughs> I didn't pick this intentionally. Oh yeah. It's gonna get rowdy. Five seconds in, we're gonna get annihilated. Yeah! That's it, we're on the board. Fred goes wild. <laughs> So I think we're 74 points down at half time. It's not looking good to be fair. Don't say to be fair. I hate when people say to be fair. 
Oh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. We um playing terribly. We really are. It's getting bad now. All right, on that bombshell. It's not even three quarter time yet. It's about to be a hundred points. I'm leaving. <laughs> Statues. Adelaide just scored another goal. <laughs> I said before the game it was going to be 100 points. It's probably now officially at 100 points. On its way to 120, 130 I reckon they'll win by. Because there's still a quarter to go. There's still 25 to 30 minutes left of, <laughs> left of the game. Ah, it's just a fucking game, isn't it? It's just a Afternoon, folks. Last day in Adelaide. My good friend Sonia, who I've been staying with for the last week, week uh, has brought us up to Barossa Valley Winery. This is uh, Whistler. Bloody lovely winery. Lovely area. Magnificent day. Food, winery. Heaps of people. Yeah, nice afternoon, drinks and food and good chats. Sonia trying to get us onto the dance floor. This boy don't dance. Jump on the road tomorrow. Uh, gonna drive across the Nullarbor. I think I'm gonna take, try and take about a week or so uh, across the Nullarbor. Still not decided yet whether I do uh, if I cross the Nullarbor and then go down south of Western Australia and then up to Perth or sort of straight across the Nullarbor and straight to Perth um, so going south and then up we'll add on maybe two or three days depending on how slow I want to go uh, or going straight across obviously that'll probably take another day maybe or I could go up to Kalgoorlie, which I want to do. Get up to the gold fields, old school gold fields, mining town. Um, I think at one point, Kalgoorlie had the most brothels and the most pubs per capita in the world. I could be making that up, but I'm pretty sure I remember that that's the case. Um, so yes, Adelaide, oh man, it's been, uh, it's been really nice, just relaxing, chilled. Sonia's been an amazing host. I'm getting 
itchy feet. I'm hitting it. That's that's what that's what itchy feet. I'm getting itchy feet. It's time to get on the road. Sort of became apparent when I went up to Handorf the other day. Just, just, and that's only 40 minutes out of Adelaide CBD. So I'm like, okay, I need to get on the road. The time has come. So Adelaide, thank you. You've been beautiful. You've been relaxing. You've been lovely. And you never know. I might be back. <laughs> Watch for steps. <laughs> <laughs>